Tina and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how I created this really minimalistic and simple makeup look for spring or summer. I really love to wear this type of makeup during spring and summer because it gets really hot outside, especially where I live. It's already like 100 degrees outside. I love looking like really natural face makeup, almost no eyeshadow and just mascara and lipstick. Honestly, it looks like just mascara and lipstick, kind of. And I always reach out for more liquid lipsticks during spring and summertime mostly because it just doesn't transfer and it wears for a long time so I can eat, drink, do whatever I want and today I'm going to try a new brand that sent me um, three liquid lipsticks it's called the Umbrella Club and so far I really love those lipsticks I have three colors, I'm wearing this one right now which is called um, Costa Blanca or Costa Blanca I don't know this is a brand that's made in LA, it's 100% cruelty free which is great and they were kind enough as to give you guys 15% off coupon code so I'm going to have it in the description box of this video. So yeah, stay tuned till the end of this video to see what I think about these liquid lipsticks and they also actually sent me a little um, bodysuit. Looks like this, um, I don't really think I'm gonna wear this, but yeah, it's cute. So anyway, without any further ado, if you want to see how to create this look, then just keep on watching. Hello, this is going to be a voiceover, obviously. So I'm going to start by priming my face with this NYX Up Primer. I'm going to link it below, I can't remember what it's called, applying it mostly to my T-zone with my fingers. And then I'm going to spray my face with the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. This is the oil control one. And my face really doesn't match my body or my neck because I don't really like to tan, there is an obvious difference but um, I don't really like to tan my face, only my uh, body so uh, nonetheless I'm not going to use foundation, I'm going to skip foundation altogether today and I'm going to move on straight to the concealer I'm using the Garnier BB Cream Under Eye Roller I'm going to apply that under my eyes and then while I let that dry I'm going to apply a different concealer on blemishes around my face I'm going to use the MAC Studio Finish uh, Concealer with my Sigma P82 Precision Round Brush which is actually kind of mimics a finger so I'm first going to dab that on any blemishes that I have around my face and then I'm going to go ahead and blend them out yeah I'm listening to the Fast and Furious 8 soundtrack yeah and they show little clips there so I have my computer on my right so if I'm looking that way that's why and yeah, you don't have to use only the brush, you can also use the finger, your finger to blend that out. Of course, a little dancing, you can hear to Fast and Furious 8 soundtrack without dancing. So sometimes I blend with my brush and then sometimes I incorporate my finger if needed. Then I blend out my under eye concealer and move into the second concealer that I'm going to be using which is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer I'm using that with my finger right on top of that concealer just because I'm a little extra with anything that comes to under eyes you definitely don't have to use two concealers if you're fine with just one then totally go ahead and do that I'm also going to apply a little bit of that Pro Longwear Concealer down the bridge of my nose and blend it with my finger just to kind of highlight a little bit and shape my nose and then you know that I need to contour my nose with the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. I'm using the dark shade with this flat foundation brush on the sides of my nose and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And I'm actually going to use mostly cream products on my face today just because I really like to use cream products during spring and summertime and during the hot seasons because I find they last longer, they don't cake up and they usually look a lot more natural if you use them right. So I'm also going to bronze up my face with a cream product. This is the Chanel Soleil 10 de Chanel Bronze Universal. And I'm using my Sigma um, F80 Flakabuki brush to apply that to the outer perimeter of my face mostly just to kind of match my neck, you know, as much as possible. And I'm also going to use a cream blush. So I'm using the Maybelline Dream Bouncy blush. Um, I think it's called Dream Coral, Candy Coral, no, Rose Petal, Rose Petal I think, I don't know, I'm going to link it below. So I'm using two fingers to apply that to my cheeks, to the center of my cheeks, the apples of my cheeks and then I'm blending it outwards. I just find the cream products also look a little more natural because they look like they come from within rather than sit on top of your face, I don't know, that's just me. 
so a little more dancing, of course. And then I'm going to set my under eye concealer with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and the Sigma F35 um, brush. So I'm just applying that under my eyes. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, which is really light for me. Too light because this is my winter shade and now I'm 10 and I don't have a matching powder. But that's okay. With a big fluffy, fluffy brush like the F20 by Sigma, if you use a very light hand, just on top to set the concealer and everything and prevent everything from moving and not use too much then that's okay and it doesn't really show. Then I'm going to set my nose contour with this um, L'Oreal Infallible uh, Pro Contour Kit. This is the light one and the Sigma F35 fluffy brush and I'm just going over where I cream contoured my nose just to set that and intensify it a little bit more. Then I'm just going to comb my brows and do them real quick as well, just to fill them in a little bit. I'm going to take the Sigma um, E65 small angled brush and the Anastasia um, Deep Brow Pomade. I'm in shade dark brown, I believe. And somebody just called me, so I'm doing my brows and talking my phone. Yeah, so I'm just filling them in real quick a little bit and then I'm going to set them in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought that I still don't look, my face still is not dark enough comparing to my body, comparing to my neck at least. So I decided to take a little bit of the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and this fluffy brush that I got from a kit, I'm going to link the brand down below. I don't really know the name of it because it was a gift, I received it as a gift and I just dust this um, bronzer a little bit all over my face kind of just to make it look a little bit more tan and a little bit more bronzed up and that is it I think a little bit more dancing and yeah now I'm going to move on to the eyes so the eye is going to be the easiest most quick and easy eye look ever I'm just going to first prime my lids with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer and I'm using my finger to apply that all over the lid up to the brow bone. Then I'm going to use a taupe shade by Colourpop, this is called As If and with a fluffy brush, this is E25 by Sigma, I'm going to apply that to my um, crease area in windshield wiper motions and just blend it outwards. And um, at that point I heard some like car beeping and I couldn't realize if it's coming from the soundtrack from my computer or from the window like from outside I think it was from outside anyways I apply a little bit more of that eyeshadow under my eyes as well just to kind of bring everything together cast a little bit of a shadow make it look a little bit more framed and natural and um, then I'm going to apply a lighter shade I'm using the Sigma Elope eyeshadow with my Sigma E55 flat brush and this is just kind of a really light kind of vanilla shade and I'm going to apply that all over the lids as well as um, under my eyebrows to highlight a little bit and um, these colors are pretty natural I really wanted to look like I don't have really eyeshadow but still I wanted to conceal any veins in my eyes and um, give a little bit more dimension to my eyes. I also apply this color on the inner corners of my eye and a little bit under the outer corners but that's just me, that's what I like to do for my droopy eyes with any eye look that I do really, you don't have to do that. Then I go back with the same um, as if shade that I used in the crease and just intensify the color a little bit mostly on the outer corners as well. I just wanted to make it a little bit darker. And actually that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I'm using the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is my very first, uh, first no, my very favorite mascara ever. You can see right here, I left this part in. Just so you can see that I apply barely the first coat. I'm not even done with the first coat and already you can see what difference it makes to my lashes. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I really love this mascara. And here I'm kind of debating if I want to apply bottom lashes mascara and or leave it like that, but I just decided to apply a little bit mascara on my bottom lashes as well eventually. And this is the eye look. 
Then I'm going back to the face. I'm going to line my lips with this um, lip pencil by NYX, which is called Whipped Caviar. And I'm just outlining my lips with that, not filling them in. And then um, I apply the liquid lipstick from Umbrella Club. And these are the three colors that I have and I was debating, I didn't know which one I want to try. This one is Costa Blanca, which I used. And this one is Espresso, which is a little bit lighter. And then this color, which is a little bit darker, it's kind of vampy. I really love this color as well. I think for um, like the cold months, it will look really cool. And for the hot months as well. So I'm using this liquid lipstick and this is the first time I'm trying this color, this particular color on. Goes on really smoothly. It actually felt really, really soft on my lips. Like I have nothing on my lips. Like really, really comfortable. And this is the final look. A little more dancing. <laughs> that's it for this video guys the liquid lipstick is really good it feels really comfortable on the lips I've actually tried this one which is called um, espresso which is more of a kind of a peachy color uh, earlier and both of them have the same formula so I'm excited to try this one which is a very dark vampy burgundy color it's called um, vendetta vendetta they feel really comfortable on the lips, it's almost like you don't feel them and they're almost transfer free, they have a little bit of transfer but only for the first uh, few minutes of applying this but once it gets dry it doesn't transfer at all, um, I have nothing on my hand. They're not drying at all which is something that I really appreciate in liquid lipstick because most liquid lipsticks are very dry and get like in the cracks of the lips. This one doesn't do that, it feels like nothing on my lips and I feel like I'm able to even drink with this without it getting off. So a little update, this is a picture that I took right after I ate a meal and drank right after I finished filming the video. And you can see a little bit of patches but it's not terrible, it didn't came off and it didn't smear during the meal at all. So this is how it looks like and it's really cool that it holds like that. And also I kind of forgot to mention for you guys, so I took this picture just to show you that the um, color on the lips, on the actual lips, looks a lot darker than it does in the tube. So just keep that in mind when choosing the colors. So that's great, especially for summer and spring. That's what I like. So yeah, make sure to check it out. Again, a link of 15% off is going to be in the description box below this video. Also, a full list of all the products that I use in this video is also going to be linked in the description box of the video, so make sure to check that out. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click that little bell button to get notified every time I upload a video, which is twice a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays, and I'm going to talk to you all on Tuesday. Bye!